going to be doing some Dragon Age Origins today. Hope you're doing well. This is a game I used to play a lot of back on the good old Xbox 360 and have not played in quite some time. So we're going to relearn some of the ropes. Let's get a new game going. Uh, Dragon Age Origins, yes. Mr. Blake, hey -o. How's it going? So is the Golden City black, and with each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Theronis, Canticle 13. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Declan, hey, -o. welcome to the stream. So yes, you're, you're not the only one here. For some reason, even on my side, it shows the viewer count, and there's clearly a couple of you here. Don't know why it's all weird. Any hoozle. So, Dragon Age Origins. Background you select will determine which of six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game, which indeed it does. And Declan, follow. Ayo, thank you. Thank you. I think maybe, as far as viewers go, it only counts followers and subscribers. And like if someone just happens to be watching and they're not following or subscribed, then it doesn't count their number as a viewer, I think. Don't don't quote me. But any usual. So, 
Dragon Age Origins. This game is a great game. I have never finished it. I, as I said, when we f very first started, right before all the cinematics, played a lot of this back on the Xbox 360, uh, maybe PS2, PS3, I forget which one exactly, but around that time. And... Yeah. A lot. A lot of, a lot of time spent playing it. But then I picked it up again for PC a while, long while back, and played a smidge of it. And haven't played a lot since. So... We're going to get things going here. All right. So, character generation. So we have male and female. Ruthon Blake followed. Hey, thank you. And then we got a race. So we can be a human, an elf, or a dwarf. So, that's what we got. Of course, the dwarf... Dwarven race can only be rogues or warriors. Humans can be uh, basically like a human noble, a magi, or a human... Well, human noble, basically... Uh, this is rogue. Yeah, magi, noble. There we go. And then the elves, of course, can also be all three. Let's see, Declan su subscribed on YouTube. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming out. All right, so, as far as what we want to be, sorry for hitting that. We, we shall just walk into Mordor. <laughs> we did yesterday. We just walked right in. Did a lot of killing. Didn't die. Took down a, uh, a war chief and some captains. No deaths. It's like the cat face of Mordor. All right, so here is where those of you who are watching, let's get some assistance in this. So, what do we want to be? A human, an elf, or a dwarf? Let's start with that. So if, if you have suggestions, let's hear them. So just, uh, let's see. Elf! Orthon says. Urthon or Orthon. Hope I'm saying that right. Or Orthana. Urthana Blake. So yes, we have elf so far. Vote for elf. There we go. Wish you could be a hobbit. I mean, if an elf and a dwarf had a baby, that's basically what it is. <laughs> so we start uh, start watching that today. Every every November, I usually like to go through all the Lord of the Rings movies and keep knocking things over. All right, so we got elf. I'm leaning towards an elf rogue. As far as our class and our race goes elf rogue you could be a lady elf boy elf <laughs> as far as the background there's dalish and then there's city pronounced ur -tho -na, the god of creativity william blake's mythology we share the name oh nice very nice I've never seen this game, so I don't know what you should be, says Declan. <laughs> yeah, so William Blake. Yeah, okay. That makes sense now. Since you share a name. Makes sense. I'm getting it. <laughs> Alright, so we, we'll be an elf. Um, I think I will go with a rogue. Just because, you know, that's an option. As far as the background, so a Dalish elf. Uh, let's see. Proud of your role as one of the few true elves, you've always assumed you would spend your life with your tribe until a chance encounter with a relic of your people's past threatens to tear you away from everything you have ever known. So that's Dalish Elf. The City Elf. You have always lived under the heavy thumb of your human overlords, with a local lord claiming his privilege with the bride shatters your wedding day. A simmering racial, or the simmering racial tensions explode in a reign of vengeance. That sounds cool. I think the last time I played, I was a elven mage, or magi in this case. But I think city elf, a rogue city elf might be the way to go. Greetings. Okay, we're greetings. All right, so appearance and voice. We got some presets. 
Of course, we can customize all of this. I can go bald and put myself in the game as an elf. All right. Let's see. Nah, let's let's not do the, the bald. No, 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 no. Don't be myself. Let's see what kind of cool hair we got. Um, we could just try to randomize it as well, but I think an elven rogue in a city. They have the cool braids, similar to Stash Teeny Sneaks. <laughs> All right, we'll do just kind of hair like that. Sure, hair color. What do we got? Uh, kind of normalish stuff. We'll go with the white hair. I think that'll work. Eyebrows. Uh, let's see. Let's match them up. Uh, since they're white, it's kind of hard to hard to see what they got. So let's change the color just a bit. We'll go with that. White. The eyes. We'll go. Those look more roguish. Sure. Let's see. Eye colors. What do we have? So let's start over here. Uh, I'll go with the more orangish ones. Keep in tradition of cat face. All right. Nose shape. All the way over. There we go. Roguish looking nose. Sure. Uh, Mouthwise, sure. Let's see. The ear height and size. My ads finally started appearing. Oof. It used to be bug. <laughs> ads. On here, ads? Neck thickness. There we go. Thick neck elf. Of course, our portrait, so it's going to indicate our character. We can have him look up or down like that. Turn left or right like that. Zoom in, zoom out, of course. Move left or right. The background. There's some different backgrounds. We'll go with this one since it kind of goes with the orangish eyes. That's a pretty roguish looking look right there. All right, voice wise. So we have a wise voice. No, it is gone. A cocky voice. How do you do? No. Oh. Experience. Greetings. Mystical. Greetings. Suave. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> and violent. Greetings. That doesn't sound violent at all. Oh, my spell. Oh, my glasses. <laughs> this isn't working. Need something else. <laughs> Let's go. I want either the suave or the cocky for our rogue. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost the spell. Oh, that kind of ruined it. I need something new. Move aside, please. His voice changes way too much. Let's go back to cocky. How do you do? Right. This is not good. Scoot. Scoot. <laughs> Off I go. <laughs> no, no. Let's not and say we did. <laughs> hmm. Maybe the violent one, just for the funniness. Greetings. Oh, my spell. Ugh. This isn't working. Need something else. You're in my way. You're in my way. <laughs> Violence equals hello. <laughs> All right, as far as the name goes, we can't change the last name because it's kind of generated based on our race and class and all that other stuff. So as far as the first name, 
Let's see. Um, elven name. I am not good with elven names whatsoever, since I usually go with, uh... Mm. That's the saddest excuse for a violent <laughs> I've ever heard. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the, the greeting. Heyo! And we shall do next. Alright, points to spend. So we've got five. So we got... If you've ever played like a D&D style game, some RPGs, we have strength, measures character's physical prowess. Uh, it's uh, directly affects damage deals in physical combat, so like melee, stuff like that. Dexterity. Basically, the higher the dexterity improves, improves, improves a character's chances to hit, makes a character more likely to dodge incoming blows, and contributes to the damage dealt by piercing weapons like daggers or arrows, which is what we're going to look at. Archery and dual-wield fighting styles demand high dexterity master, making this attribute a favorite for rogues, oh, which is why we have bonus points in it. So dexterity, we get a bonus. Cunning, we get a bonus. Willpower, we get a bonus as well. So we have five. I'm going to put, th I think, a few in cunning. Uh, let's see, most skills such as herbalism or combat tactics require quick mind master and an observant eye can find or can more easily find weaknesses in enemy armor. Rogues benefit most from this statistic as many of their class abilities and special attacks rely on subtlety or reading the target, not raw strength. So we'll put a few here. We'll put two here and one here, I think would be the nice way to go. For now. Okay. We got some skills, of course. So we have coercion. Currently, we have that. We also have poison making. So combat tactic, combat training. Herbalism. Survival. Trap making. Stealing. Or improved coercion. So I think... I want to be able to, as this says here in our herbalism, character can make simple potions, poultices, and salves from common herbs. I think I want to do that, so that way I can make myself like some healing potions, things of that nature. It's kind of where I'm thinking right now. All right, and our talents. So we have dirty fighting. Rogue incapacitates target who takes no damage from the attack, but is stunned for a, sh for a short time. That's just a regular rogue talent. Blow the belt. Kaboom! A swift and unsportsmanlike kick to the target, dealing normal combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defense and movement speed unless the target passes a physical resistance check. Deft hands for some uh, opening locks and traps, uh, things like that. Spotting traps, I should say. Stealth. So we got dual weapon, archery, which we'll get to. But as you can see, some of these require combat training and all that fun stuff. We'll, we'll get there. Don't worry about that. But to start off with, I think we'll get stealth and deft hands. And we shall play. Uh, difficulty level, I'll just go on normal because it's been so long since I've played. All right. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known. Until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. All right, so now we get some dialogue. Since we're, I'm just gonna get our mindset of a rogue who's like, hey, my glasses, <laughs> just a little longer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this the whole time, I bet. Come on, don't make me use cold water again. 
You do remember what today is, don't you? Let's see, Declan, this game looks like a mix between Shadow of Mordor slash War and Skyrim. It's... I can see... I'll definitely say this. <clears throat> the combat is not like either of those games. It's a bit more tactical, strategic, not quite turn-based, like, you know, D&D would be. Not quite turn-based, but it's close. This is uh, made by Bioware, so if you ever played uh, Mass Effect, any of the Mass Effects, it's that same company, so same sort of idea as far as how the game flows in some ways, but an RPG, it is, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, according to your breath, it's get drunk before noonday. No, you idiot, you're getting married today, and Soros too. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride, Nessiara, she's here early. Uh-oh. That's not good. Let's see. So that means we do it now? I'm not ready. <laughs> well, it's going to happen anyway, so hold your breath and jump in. There's going to be music, decorations, feasting. Weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. Hmm. I don't feel lucky. Too bad. I'm just glad I got to be the one to tell you. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. <laughs> Dead wife in five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> yes, two, one, countdown. I'm gonna see. Just because I'm getting some something. Let me let me do here this. Hmm. What because I'm getting I'm getting that same thing I got with Shadow of Mordor where I had an unlocked frame rate, but now I don't. Because uh, I have vertical sync. I'm going to actually see if I turn that off. If this helps at all. Just waiting for it to come back up and refresh on the OBS. Look around. It's like 30 frames. But not a smooth... 60. That's okay. Alright. So. We got exploration. This is how we move. There we go. Thank you. Uh, use your mouse wheel to zoom in. Scroll forward. Oh, oh, oh. Like that. We can also zoom way out like this if we wanted to. It's basically a tactical mode, so you can kind of you know, see everything, see the battlefield, stuff like that. So if we wanted to play like this, you totally can. There's no first person. It's all a third person. So let's check this footlocker out. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> all right, so we got a health potus, or poultice. I will take that. Small grease trap. Be careful. If this trap breaks open in your pack, it'll take hours to get the oil off everything. All right. That. Our wedding clothes. Sure. We'll take all of it. Go into our inventory here. We're just wearing regular clothing. I'm going to equip our wedding clothes. Look nice and dapper. For soon to be most likely dead wife, <laughs> as we have determined. <laughs> All right, let's have a chat. Good morning, my son. It's your big day. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. <laughs> we'll keep going with our whiny rogue. <laughs> Why today? Just because my betrothed is early. <laughs> I'm sure they sent your betrothed early for good reason. The elder took it in stride, at least. Maybe trouble was brewing at the High Ever Alienage, or the family didn't want your betrothed traveling later in the season. Whatever the reason, I paid the dowry, the Chantry issued the permit, and everything worked out fine. All right. But I want to get married. <laughs> I understand. Before I met Adaya, I was ready to go hunt for the Dalish. Just be glad I chose the match. Without parents to represent you, children like your cousin Soros end up marrying whoever the Elder can find. Hmm. Instead, I have to marry who you say. Great. 
What other prospects are there here? Do you want to marry someone 15 years your senior? I thought not. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Well, let's see. Small chance to sell a chance. I want to see my brother at least. Thank you, Father. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I, I'll just go with the a small chance, still a chance. <laughs> still have your mother's smart mouth, I see. Oh, one last thing before you go, son. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Hmm. Well, you'll find out sooner or later. Later. Definitely later. Well, we don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Well, let's just get on with this, shall we? Go on, then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? All right. Guess more codex. I'm going to actually try to do a little adjustment of something. So, one more second. Apologies. I'm going to see if I bump this. All right. One moment. i got to adjust something in OBS here. All right, let's resume. There we go, that's 60 FPS. Yeah, it just doesn't like me playing in a different resolution than what I'm streaming at for some reason. Okay, so now. Oh, earlier Declan said getting wow vibes. I could see that, I could see that. All right, so looking around, I'm just trying to see if there might be any items we can loot. I don't see any. Alright, so let's leave. Alright. Now we're outside. What do we got? Drunken elves. We got a wall. Got a kitty cat. Alright, let me look. Our home. A celebration, yeah. Alright, so we just head basically up this way and over here. Alright, let's go. Let's see if I completely zoom it out. Well, it's around the eyes. I still don't see it. Whenever I'm Alright, so let's get let's get this marriage over with. Let's see, how did the Valkyrie stream go the other day? Get any levels, find any elder dragons. Uh it was it went well, we got to level 49, finally. Uh, still not at level 50, so we didn't get the achievement. And the uh, Elder Dragons don't appear until you're in the 70s, close to 80. So no Elder Dragons yet, so we, we got a ways to go. The stream is pulling a mixer. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh-oh. What happened there? All right. Soros. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin... Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Let's see. Is running away still an option? Are you insane? Where would you go? Into the woods to live with the Dalish elves? Uh, it could happen. Live in the forest with the savages far from humans? Sounds like a dream. <laughs> Not that we'd know where to find them. Besides, why would you run? Apparently, your bride's a dream come true. Mine sounds like a dying mouse. I mean, our voice isn't that much better. Um, well, maybe you'll get a cage for a wedding present. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. Okay. So... We gotta head basically back over this way. I don't see the rug. We didn't get introduced. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Let go of me! Stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? 
Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm! I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Let's see. What are we gonna do? Get ourselves killed. We'll let these humans abuse our women. I mean, we've spent this whole time saying that we don't want to get married. So obviously, we're not in a big mix to uh, get in the middle of all this. So let's not endanger ourselves needlessly. Makes sense to me. What's this? The two grooms come to welcome me personally. <laughs> Well, uh, let's just talk this over, shall we? Maybe you should invite us over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Von Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. Well. Take him home. If you don't min mention this, we won't. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I, I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, <clears throat> well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. We'll go with that last one, that's funny. And whose girl with her? Not mine, I hope. By the maker. I, I can't believe you sometimes. Yes, this is Nessiara. You're betrothed? You know, I'm actually considered quite beautiful back in High Ever. <laughs> I like that first option. It must be an ugly city. Let's go with it. it. Must be an ugly city. I cannot believe this. This is the man I traveled so far to marry? Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll hunt you down. <laughs> Don't look now, but we have another problem. Uh, what do you mean? Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. I gotta say, let's just kill him, because that would be awful to do. Plus, we probably couldn't. Spoiler alert, he's a, an NPC we need to talk to. Right, let's go talk to him. Let's do this quickly. If these axles hold, we can make it in a few days. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. Just realized my volume is still turned down there a bit. Sorry. Ah, uh, let's see. <clears throat> you have any business here, human? I do. I believe, however, that I may have already found what I was seeking. What might that be? That is my business. Then you'll be leaving, I assume. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. Well, let's see. Fine. Maybe we can compromise. He keeps his composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It's been far too long. 
You know this human elder? May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. And why should I care? The Grey Wardens are deserving of respect, no matter who wears their crest. But my question remains unanswered. Why are you here, Duncan? The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Kaelin summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Cree, ew. How's it going? Welcome. All right. <clears throat> so, let's take our places, get this wedding over with. Oh, Soros. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here. Fellow groom in tow. Good. I'm so pleased to finally do this. It looks like everyone's ready. Let's get this over with. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's Prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valendrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... My lord, this is <coughs> an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party. And uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! Ha! If you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies, that's all! <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and... Where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. What do we do? Let's see. Well, nothing, unless you have any ideas. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> The uppity runt that thinks he's worthy of speaking to me. Don't worry. I'll return whatever's left in time for the honeymoon. Well, let's see. Like I said, since we didn't want to get married in the first place, we will uh, go with the snarky comment, if that's my lord's wish. Not even a shadow of a man, I see. Back to the palace, boys. <laughs> Can you hear me, cousin? Are you all right? Do I look all right? You took a hard headshot. You'll have to worry about that later, though. Vaughn took Shiani, Nessiara, Valora, and the rest of the women in the wedding party back to the palace. The Elder is talking to Duncan, that Grey Warden. Everyone is getting upset. Hmm. How upset? Some are calling for blood. Others say any action will just make it worse on the rest of us. It's getting ugly fast. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go listen in. Should be quite the show. Let's go, then. They're over by the tree. Okay. So, tree right over this way. 
please, all of you, listen. I know you are upset and with good reason, but there is nothing we can do right now. He's right. Running after them will just make matters worse. So we do nothing. They took my sister. Born against cynic blood. <laughs> yeah, we'd be going, well, there's a good chance we'll be going for blood here soon, but as of right now, we're a, a rogue who didn't want to get married and just kind of put off by the whole thing. So, uh, I don't like any of these options for how our character's going right now, but we'll go with, we should go after him. Normally, I'd counsel patients. Unfortunately, stories about the Arl's son and his appetites are most disturbing. Blood for the Blood God. <laughs> it says Born Again Cynic. Uh, let's see, Kree, is this the beginning of the game or... Yeah, this is the beginning. We basically uh, woke up by our cousin, uh, said, Hey, it's time for you to get married. And essentially, we didn't know who we were marrying. Like, we were meeting them for the first time on the wedding day. And uh, some humans were there, and one of them got bottled. What the heck? Let's see. Um, do do do. Where should we go? Kind of story. Uh, what kind of stories? We'll go with that one. The last year, the blacksmith's daughter worked as a chambermaid at the Arl's palace. Local children found her washed up under the dock. She'd been, well, Vaughn had had his way with her. The servants all said that Vaughn had his men bring her to his chambers. When he was done with the girl, she was killed and disposed of. The garrison said she died later, but we all knew better. Vaughn has never been so bold. But with Arl Urien away, who knows what he thinks he can get away with? <laughs> I like the right, the right option. Then we riot! Let's show them what we think. Oh, and also, I'm doing this voice because the during the character selection... There is a voice option for violent. And he talks like this. He's with my glasses. That's basically how he talks, so we're going to just continue that on. And give him an excuse to send the garrison into the alienage for another purge? But surely we can do something. Someone has to save them. But what can we do? We're talking about the Arl's palace. Even with the Arl and his knights gone, it'll be guarded. Elder, may I offer a suggestion? I work inside the palace. I could sneak one, perhaps two others in through the servant's entrance. Nobody will notice an extra pair of elves looking around. Well, we've been in and out before anyone knows the difference. I'm with you, of course. But if we run into trouble, we won't be able to talk our way out of it. For that, you will need weapons. Allow me to offer you my own longsword and bow. A man should be able to defend his loved ones properly. Well, you're a fighter, Duncan. Why, why don't you come with us? I fear I cannot. Trust me when I say my intervention would cause you more trouble than it would solve. Then your path is set. I pray the Maker looks on it with favor. You're all insane! The guards will burn our homes down around us! Enough, Elva. You had your say. They shall try. For their own honor and the honor of the women. We must trust in the Maker. I'll make sure the way is clear. When you're ready, meet me at the alienage gate. Okay, so we got some items. Let's go into there. Got a crossbow. We got a dagger. We'll equip that. Don't want to get the long sword. We'll go ahead and get the. Do we want the crossbow? I'll go with the, actually, we'll go with dagger instead. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's switch over and put the crossbow on that. And I think we're good. Okay. So we just need to make our way over this way. So let's do that. Alejandro, what's up, so chat? Ayo, welcome. Welcome. All right, elf servant. You made it. I sent word ahead to get the servant's entrance unlocked. Are you ready to go? Yes. Or should we find a change of clothes? That's actually a bit more smart. I've got some things. You can change on the way. Okay. So. We got just regular clothing. Actually. 
We already got it. Never mind. Oh, it's paused. Potential combat ahead. Actually, combat right there. Okay, so this is where the tactical part of the combat kind of comes in. So, what I'm going to do right now really... do much. We can do this. Okay. Oh, dirty fighting. I'll get on it. And it's kind of an auto, like, I don't Let's have anything currently. That's for Shiani. Someone's going to fall, oh. and it sure won't be me. Oh, attack. I hate this See part. if I can do, oh, no backstab. Never mind. All right, what, what do you have? Mason, a shield. Um, take it. All right. Actually, gonna do some stealth. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> well, back sambing never hurt anyone. <laughs> All right, so we're stealthed currently. I'm gonna see if I can have you. Quick! Oh, never mind. All right, we'll here. get you. We'll attack. You'll get no mercy from me. Watch oh. out, cousin. Bit of dirty fighting. Oh. Breaking a sweat already? <laughs> I'll get on it. On your guard, wretch! Oh, This'll be fun! You're gonna regret this! Keep attack. Keep attack. This dog is watching. <laughs> That was close! I need to be right, brave! in horror as I rip you apart! I shall end him! I hope I don't regret it! <laughs> oh, now he's focused on us. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Go behind him and get backstabs. Yes, yes. That's what I was thinking. Didn't get to do it though. So it's click and hope for the best type of combat. Sort of. Sort of. Boy already knows he's a veteran. Ha, there we go. <laughs> Not really a veteran. Just, uh. I'm in combat? Oh, because there's a Mari over here. So let me. Crossbow here. Now is better than later. Just get his attention, bring him over. Oh, missed. Got it. Missing still. A ladder, so you can get off my back. <laughs> you get no mercy from me. Try to get behind him. He's focused. I'll get on it. There we go. This'll be fun! There we go. There we go. Just locking those backstabs, hopefully. Why can't you humans leave us alone? That's a dog, not a human. Oh! Got a level. Let me switch to you real quick. See if you have any. That's our party inventory. Uh, let's, we'll use that so you can heal up a bit. All right. So, it's like interesting. I hate playing games with this combat, but I do really, or do enjoy watching others play. Yeah, <laughs> it it definitely does take a little bit getting used to. Like you can't always just run in and gun and do all your stuff. So it it takes a different mindset for sure. Okay. So we got three attribute points we can use here. Um, I do want to bump just a smidge in the constitution, a smidge in the strength. So we'll do this, this, and I'm going to bump our cutting a bit. We got specializations, of course. We can get, I do want to get my combat training. 
now we can start getting our talents. So dual wielding, I do want to get. Let's see, dual striking. Weapon sweep. What do we got here? Below the belt? Yeah, we saw that earlier. Melee archer, pinning shot, rapid shot. Disabling. I do like that. But I think, potentially... Actually, do I have... I do have a long sword. So we could do a sword and a dagger, even though I really want two daggers. So we'll do this. That. Okay. We'll do that for now. Uh oh, I didn't. Oh, because we didn't do the thing. So strength, cunning, constitution, and let's go. So our combat training and our dual weapon training. There we go. Okay, go back into stealth. Let's see. Hmm. Don't see anything yet. Those don't appear to be. Oh. Of course, as soon as I say that. Ah, there was one over here. Okay. Get some backstabs going, hopefully. Sneaky, sneaky. That's a dog, not a human. Heavy roller. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed that that comment. It's right behind. Turn. Watch in horror as I rip you apart. Ah! The ladder, so you can get off my back. Boom. Boom. Oh, missed with the dagger. Hit Let's with see what you're He's made of. Ah! Over. There we go. All right. So now, back stealth. Look, my naked villainy. So we can't go through there. There's no option to select. Meow, kitty cat. See, there we go. Okay. There's another one of the Mabari. Doubt. Alright. We'll do the same thing we did before. Sneak up on it. Let our friend take the aggro. Get up and attack. We'll get you! Dirty fighting. Stun, move behind. On your guard, Rex! Why can't you humans miss, leave us alone? Miss. Should do it. There we go. Back stealth. Just keep moving. Get a little drinky juice. Mm. Alright, so what do we got here? Ah, into the palace. This is it. There's a guard posted inside, but he's usually drunk or asleep. Okay. Let's see. We we'll getting help in there. We're gonna find Vaughn. Uh oh. Just noticed the stream dropped out for a second, so I didn't make any choices just yet. <laughs> so, will we get any help in there? Maybe, but don't think every elf you see is your friend. Plenty of bootlicks would sound the alarm for a pan on the head. All right. Or, excuse me. All right, we're ready. Good luck. Keep your wits about you. And he's off. Okay. So we'll go into the palace. Backstabbing never hurt anyone. <laughs> Backstabbing never hurt anyone. <laughs> I wish I could just have him wait, but I don't think we can really control him as well as can like other party members later. The cleanser. Okay. Intruders, oh. sound the alarm! I don't know if I can do this, cousin. Something is coming. He's got precise striking. Okay. 
This'll be fun! Get on it. Some chain mail. Let's see if we can give that to our friend here. There we go. And how about you get some weapons like that and a shield? Is there magic in this game? Oh, indeed there is. Let's see. Uh, but going back just a bit, love how many things you can do in this starting origin. Like, you can poison people if you put your weapons away. Yeah, yeah. They're the different options you get for starting. Quite fun. Alright, give him a bit more of a fighting chance. Alright, what else we got here? I uh, don't really see anything we can loot, so... All right, all right. Let's keep going through. Stealth it up. My naked villainy. Naked villainy. Cook. Liquor cabinet, eh? Can get boozed up. Shelves, let's take a look. It's mushroom. Uh, sure. Take that. Yes, I think. Since it's sparkling, it wants us to go there. So let's go see if we can unlock it. Some brandy. And hey, we got an achievement. Hooray! So we got that door. This door. Storage cabinet, what you got? Good one. There we go. Some rat poison. Hmm. Wonder if there might be something we could do with that. Pile of six. Some coinage. Sure. It's not exactly easy to come by from what I remember. There's money. At least early on. All right, let's so just come on over this you way. You there? Oh. Who are you? Speak quick, worms, before I call the guards and they clip your nasty ears. Don't worry about the blood on our clothes. Uh, we're, we're new servants. New servants? The last thing this kitchen needs is more disgusting elves stealing silver and spreading their diseases everywhere. Wait, why are you dressed like that? You're bandits, rebels, outlaws. The guards will make quick work of you. Oh! You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. I'm ill. This is Soros. Well met. I'm Odwin, the cook's assistant. A friend of a friend said you'd be coming. They took the women you're looking for to Lord Vaughn's quarters. You should hurry. He's not known for his kindness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. Smart. Smart. Quite smart. Okay. Never seen it come. Where did you get a weapon, nope. elf? Uh oh. You better talk quick, scum. Let's see. Um, I found it nearby. I was bringing it to the armory. Is that so? An unlikely story, if I ever heard one. You maggots are gonna die slowly. Okay. So real quick, let me... So born again, Rogue is my favorite class in this game. Although Blood Mage slash Spirit Healer is a fun combo. I, whenever I very first played this game, back when it first came out, on the... It was either 360 or PlayStation, forget which one, specifically. Um, I tried to play as a Blood Mage and enjoyed it quite a bit. And then took a long break and haven't played it in quite a while. So, love everyone in this game has the ability to knock people unconscious with one punch. <laughs> it's quite useful. Okay, so now, if we wanted to do some tactical stuff, we can. But in this case, it's just three of them. I kind of want to focus the guard first, is what I'm thinking. This guard, I should say, with the archer. Let's see if I can get him to maybe take some aggro off of these two. Potentially. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Alright. So. Let's do this. Got it. 
gonna regret this. That's working. Run while you still can. Oh. Okay, now. Same kind of ideas. Backstab. Over your head. I hope I don't regret this. As soon as we can get our dirty Watch fighting, son, get behind him. Oh. That's not good. I'll get on it. Cool. Alright. Oh, hit him. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back. Oh, sheesh. That was close. Come on. Actually, I'll use this one instead. I said I'll use it. Hmm. Well, let me. Oh, well. Oh, there it goes. It just took a second. All right, let's do some searching. Another dagger. Sweet. That's what I was looking for. Take all of that. Uh, there we go. Uh, I will take that. Mace, not too worried about, but I might be able to sell it off. A short bow, that, uh, now, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, so, short bow, there. Dagger, there. Look at our, let's see, armor penetration and attack. What are daggers? A crit chance is basically what I'm looking for. Two is 1.5, the mace is a 0.5, okay. All right, so uh, let's do this. Stealth it up. Naked villainy. Got a couple of doors, potentially. Servant's entrance where we were. This looks like probably just a storage room of some kind, so we'll check it out first. Paradoxical! Ayo! Yeah, Miss, Mr. Blake basically answered that. We're still in the tutorial pretty much, yes, and welcome also. I love the violent voice for my human rogue. She was always yelling, It's a massacre and nobody is getting out alive in the thickest British accent. <laughs> All right, take some more brandy, sure. Oh, nope. Check the barrel. Iron ring. Okay. Does it do anything? Uh, it's just a ring. So, we'll wear it. Of course. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So now, back out. Let's come on over to this door. Give me another drink. Hi there. All right, I think we can lure him in a bit. You're gonna regret this. Oh, he's long. Got the range too. Oh, yeah. You get up there and get the aggro. There we go. Oh, and also I forgot to say, uh, born again with the follow, Mr. Blake with the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see some blood. Let's see some blood. All right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> All right. So far, so good. Back to stealth, of course. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> All right. This looks like potentially another kind of storage area. Attack from behind. Oh. It's a good day to die! So it's on me. Boom. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, this. This seems to be a good combo. A little bit of range. Than later. A little bit of up close. Alright, let's go I'll search these it. weapon racks. See if we can find anything. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. Short bow, elm. It's the exact same. I don't see any differences, so we'll leave that alone. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Here we go. I got some light armor for myself. A 
shield as well. Hmm. Okay. So we'll take this. That. 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 Okay. Whip. 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 There we go. Let's see. Oh, no problem. Glad I found this channel. It's making me want to go play this again. <laughs> nice. Agree with a good day to die for you, bud. Why leave it when you can sell it? Fair point. Fair point. I can't argue with that. With my own usual logic. I'll get on it. Cannot argue with that at all. But when we eventually start caring too much, well. My naked villainy. All right. Ooh, saving stealthiness. Let's go. Well, that's one less elf breeder in the world. A shame, though. Nice body on that one. She's still warm. How picky are you, anyway? Shut it, you two. We've got company. You just walked into the wrong room. You know how this works, boys. No witnesses. I need to be safe. No quarter. No mercy. Here we go. You have no skill. Only desperation. Got it. Alright, alright. Oh, misses. That's not good. Oof. Tapping this as soon as I can. There we go. You'll get no mercy from me. I'm sorry. Am I too quick for you? Oh, Ooh, that was they, a close fight. They killed her. I can't believe this. Uh, what difficulty? This is normal. I decided normal since I haven't played in so long. It might be a good uh, difficulty. <laughs> Let's see it. I'll paint these walls with human blood. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Let's keep moving. We should try to be quiet. Okay. First. All right. Search the guards. Lyrium potion, sure. Nope. Oh. cinch. Ah, plus four attack. Okay, we'll take that. Another one. Okay. So, let's do uh, this. I thought it gave us two of those, but whatever. All right. So, the voice cracked me up. <laughs> Never seen it come. Glad you're enjoying. Some elf fruit, sure. Take it. See if we can be a bit sneaky, sneaky. Get some backstabby. Here, dogs. Oh, Why can't the you humans leave us alone? It's a good day to die. <laughs> Have at you. Have at you. I'm glad that's over. Glad that's over. All right, no loot. Shame. Yeah, so I have a feeling behind some of these doors might be some surprises. Backstabbing never hurt anyone. <laughs> Let's try this one. Oh, they're off duty. Sure. Just make sure. Yeah, so. Does it look like they, well, this one has a sword. Yeah, they all have swords, okay, but no armor. Show them no 
mercy. Get in there, buddy. Breaking a sweat already? Get already. After you. Let's see if I can come over here and maybe get this, this guy. Oh, it's back to So far, so good. Let's see if we can unlock this. Blood stain shield and some elf roots. Sure. All right. Not gonna tr try too many other places. My naked villain. Another one is at range. So I think what we'll do. On in here. Got you. While he's focused, get some of these shots on. For ruining my wedding. I think our friend may go down. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on his health. Nope, he's, he's up. No mercy. Good for him. All your guard, wretch! Oh, here we go. Frost Rock. Rescue Frost Rock gives the user a small bonus to cold resistance. Don't really need that right now, I don't think. But let's keep going. <laughs> 